Hi, I'm Maverick and welcome to my build video, The Z Bunker. The first thing you might notice as we come in through here is our anti-door camping setup. You notice the double doors there, stopping people from coming in and looting your body just in case you do die tackling door campers. And you may notice that around the outside edge of the base we got all vending machines and this is to add an extra 10 rocket rate cost if people are blowing in through the side. Right, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how I will build this base on a real server. So we're going to uh, start off by building a very small section of the base to use as our starter. Which is just enough room for a TC, some bags, a couple of furnaces and some boxes. It's a good idea to get this loot room set up now um, with the boxes in place because when you come to put your sloped roof bunker section in it'll clip through the wall and you won't be able to lay either your shelf or your boxes. Okay now we've got that section up we want to work on getting an airlock on this so we'll just build a few more foundations around the outside here including this raised section. And there we got a little triangle form now for our airlock. And now we're going to move on to the next section, which is the airlock. Now it's highly unlikely at this stage that you're going to have enough frags for two shot fronts. So I would just put a couple of wooden doors in. Now that we're all sealed in, we can remove these doors and we can put our sloped roof section in. And as you see, we put a twig roof section in here and it opens up the bunker just like this. Now even if only one of these double doors is open, it will stop people from getting into your airlock and looting your body if you do die when trying to kill a door camper. So 
we come in here now and what we want to do next is upgrade all of this to HQM all around the uh, PC. And once you've done that, turn everything that you can see inside here into metal. Now our next stage is simple enough, it's just uh, triangle honeycombing around the outside edge. And there you can see the pieces that you actually honeycomb. And um, for the next step, I think we get, what we're going to do is we're going to double up on the roof now. Now this is the best time to put your garage doors on, um, that's before you put your vendor machines down because sometimes your vendor machines will stand out too much and you won't be able to get your garage door in place. Also you will have to remove the small furnaces from the centre of the base to get your garage doors in. Put your garage doors down and then replace the furnaces. Now when you place this vending machine, do not let it clip into the wall behind, otherwise you'll be unable to upgrade it at a later stage. Now here's a cool little glitch that I found out about. Um, you've got to remember now that vending machines are 10 rockets to destroy. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this first vending machine in front of the TC and we're going to clip it back as far as it'll go into the wall. But this second vending machine, we can't have it clipping right into the wall. We want to just bring it back. I use Usually I come forward about three of the tread plate patterns on the floor. So you just nudge it forward a little bit. So it's just standing proud. And now as, you, as we come around to the side here, you can pick up the glass through a weird little glitch there. For some reason you can see through the vending machine. Uh, there's the TC behind it. And of course we can put the glass back on and fix it. 
and then we re rotate that vending machine back round again and it clips into that wall and totally seals it. And you use this part of the base for your sleeping bags but if there's only two of you playing then uh, you can squeeze some beds in here. It's a little bit tricky but it, as you can see it can be done. And as you see here, this is the reason why we clip that first vending machine in front of the TC right in. Um, it allows us space then to fit our tier three in. Now we're gonna put a shotgun trap here. This is in case the doors are left open and the bunker is left open. It's just a secondary safety device which will automatically shut the bunker down if somebody tries to enter into it. Right, what we want to do here now is put a concrete barricade down right smack in the middle there, right in the middle of the foundation. You'll, be able to only, you'll only be able to get round it on the left hand side. Unfortunately the uh, shop front won't allow you to pass around the right hand side. But as you can see you can stand behind this now, open the door and uh, shoot out through the doorway. And seeing as you can't pass around that side of the barricade, you might as well just put a couple of furnaces in there. Just utilise that little bit of space. Okay, so we're looking outside here now and that outside wall has got a layer of honeycomb and then the wall on the outside. And then once they're into the loop room, they're gonna have to blow through the glass window wall as well to get into this section here. And if we, if we look in this corner here, it's a layer of honeycomb on the outside, then it's the wall and then it's 10 rockets for the vending machine. So you're looking at 26 rockets for each one of these outside walls. Now when you can afford it and you're rich enough, you can start upgrading these sections of the base now to increase the raid cost again. Just take these up to high quality. Now, this is something I accidentally discovered when I was uh, trying to make a better arrangement for uh, door campers to deal with them. The dynamics of the game don't seem to work very well with doors that are left open. You don't seem to get the same amount of splash across the gap between these two doors. Now, I've tested this over and over again. 
and I'm getting the same result every time and it's costing me four rockets to get through one sheet metal door at the entrance of the base. And there we are, all done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and a subscribe.